Hello Aquarians and cross watchers. Welcome to your video. So I don't know what's going to come out. Okay. I don't have a song channel for you guys or anything like that. Um, but everything for these past few readings has been strongly about the Aquarius supermoon. So that's probably going to maybe go in that direction. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. I've already said my prayers and I just want to be the first to let you guys know that you're so beautiful. You're so needed in this world. And I want to thank you for being here, sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you so much. Um, I'm going to be playing with two new tarot decks that I got here um, in the midst of everything going on I just I needed some me time and I went to the local mystical store and I got uh, two tarot decks one is called the sacred she and the other one is called good fortune so if you like them um, you can probably Amazon them okay so show me what I need to see for this reading show me what I need to see for this reading Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. On the bottom we have the observer. Okay, you might be noticing some things, paying attention to some patterns or something. Oh boy, we have yen and a leg up. So, we have number 34, which turns to 7, and number 2. This is aligning, okay. Um... Basically, somebody might be giving you uh, a leg up. You might be giving someone a leg up. This talks about helping someone, okay, or accepting help, whichever side that you're on, all right? And we have yen energy, and that is divine feminine energy, but it yen can be in a male or female body. It's not gender specific. So let's get into this reading now. Um, and see what, what what wants to come out. See who maybe it will tell us who's helping who. But I think it's it's both sides of the coin here. If you need help or assistance, I feel that it can come through a person. The universe is sending it ultimately to you. But maybe the universe is sending someone to you to help. Okay, so however the shoe fits for you. Show me what I need to see. I'm going to do a Celtic spread here. I want to thank everybody who showed up. Keep in mind this is a general reading and that the roles can be reversed if you're cross-watching. Also keep in mind, um, even though the title says Aquarius, if you are on this frequency or near this frequency, messages can relate because ultimately I do have other signs who watch, okay? And uh, sometimes the message resonates for other signs. All right. And like I said, a lot is going to be relating to the super moon. We have the first card out is the tower, and then we have, which says crisis, and which we have waking up with the hangman. So this is strong universe energy. We have Scorpio, um, Aries energy. We have Pisces energy. There's a lot going on, okay? Um, difficult transits happening um as i do this and this this week of this so uh we will get through this okay no matter what um they could affect you directly or they could affect you through people that you love okay your family your friends not everybody is going to have a crisis all right we have determination it came out this way then it went this way this is um a card of knight of swords Something quick, anyway. This is about sudden and unexpected, and that is literally um, earnest energy. Now, with this here, it says Wisdom Keeper, and that is the Hierophant energy, and that is Taurus energy, but it also talks about learning valuable lessons but i think that you have a lot of wisdom ultimately i think that you have a lot of wisdom you're going to navigate this very well or you're going to adapt because i even had to do a reading about adaptability um so just keep that in mind don't let the heavy energy the stressful energy stress you out keep your wits to yourself and 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 just stay the wise one stay centered okay this will pass you know that this will pass no matter what is going on 
and it ultimately is leading to a new beginning and that came out in my earlier reading that I did which is usually my quickie tarot but it ended up being like 22 minutes or something like that because this moon energy is just so much and it's hard to get it all out there very quickly what is crowning this I will clarify all of this by the way we have um, imagination interesting it's a this this is um, a two of cups but this two of cups is more implying what you want to align with is on your mind okay you think about this and your imagination and your feelings have a lot to do with your manifestation and you see that ship there and whatever you've been imagining that's happy because we have the Sun here which talks about happiness that means that ship is about ready to come in okay so what have you been manifesting what do you want to align with is what I would say Tell me about the near future. We have alchemy, okay? We have, um, this is the magician. This is the magician. But it came out in reverse, and that's what I said. It has a lot to do with manifestation, so I'm on point with this. If you've been manifesting, you know, ascension, awakening, um, if you've been manifesting that lessons are learned and that you can move on from some difficult times, this is definitely in the process, okay? Definitely, whatever you've been wanting to align with, whatever's been on your mind, okay, it's coming. Maybe not necessarily in the near future, okay, this is the near future but it is coming all right it's like the order was received you know it's like when you go and you order some takeout and then you're just ordering for yourself it's done in five minutes but when you have a large manifestation that um, requires other people other things more resources it takes longer to get that order right and that's the feeling that I'm getting with this give me the staff self these cards are new, so they don't flip out quite as easy. All right. Now, there could be a water sign who's afraid of change. Okay. And resistant to change it could be also somebody who's water in their chart you could also so it could be Sun Moon rising Venus north node south node wherever somebody's operating from but it's about choices here and it's about the, the best highest choices for the highest good and I, I have restraint somebody is holding back possibly okay out of fear somebody needs to let go of some fear and the best way to do that is to be in the here and the now. Um, this could be external to you because, like I said, either someone's going to help you out or you may help someone out. So just keep that in mind. Um, but somebody here is afraid of change. And it could be somebody who has a lot of love. The, the, the King of Cups is a person who, whether male or female, they have a lot of love, but they sort of hold back. They don't really express it so much. Give me an outcome card and then I will. There's too many, but why? And we have the Queen of Cups, so I'm staying. All right, so there's somebody who really wants to align, all right? And the reason I'm not seeing Aquarius because this is love. This is love. And love wants to come together and love wants to shine. That's what love does best, okay? No matter what form love is coming in, it always shines. It's light. And... This is a Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody, and it's generosity, which this would talk about if somebody wants to help somebody. Somebody really wants to help somebody, but they're holding back. And they're holding back because they're afraid of change. Um, and it's a Divine Masculine. It's the Emperor. This says 
is card number four in the tarot, which is the emperor the, made in the major arcana. And in this it says order. So there is a divine masculine, a yang energy, who I feel wants to help the yen because the yen is here. But maybe there is, maybe they need your help. Um, it can go either way. If divine masculine energy needs your help, it's going to be nurturing because usually divine masculine have everything they need. They are the structure and the foundation where the yen will be the nurturer of that foundation, will attract the love and everything to it. So you might be helping each other. If you need help, a divine masculine might help you, but you might be helping them by nurturing um, something. This can also be, the emperor can be a boss, because we do have three of pentacles. Either way, you guys, it's success. But I really feel um, in love, because we have the lovers here, and you see two flames. So some of you, maybe it's your twin flame. Maybe for some of you, this is just someone who's on your level. You see how those candles are burning at exactly the same speed and length, and you see how those two candles are sort of leaning into each other and relying on one another and there's success here to be had okay um and this person looks rather eccentric so you know that could i always take aquarians to be eccentric okay so either way it's a success there's a success and that's what i want you guys to stay focused on that's the foreshadowing part the bottom of the deck i'm going to keep that right there let's get into this so a crisis can give way to success here um, I don't know if the crisis is with you or someone else like I said I don't want to be a broken record you might be ready to someone you someone might need your help or you may need someone's help but either way it's a win-win it's just gonna it looks like it's gonna happen here for whoever is resonating with this like I said it doesn't seem like it's exactly in the near near future okay but nevertheless now maybe you don't expect it this is also a card of um this could also be soon because this can represent mercury retrograde which we are in this is virgo gemini energy but it's mercury energy so keep in mind there is a lot of major arcana you guys let me count let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven if I count the bottom of the deck. There are seven major arcana. So this is literally whatever is going on, I'm telling you, it's going to work out for the highest good, even though it may not feel like it. Now, clarifying this crisis, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. That's a card of Virgo, but it's also a card of... Um, happening sooner than you think it's a card of something that took a while is now speeding up and it's a major transformation this is the death card on the bottom of the deck it's a hierophant reverse it does talk about lessons and it does talk about this moon this moon is reverse which i feel it's the aquarian supermoon so there is something that's going to be happening um, the super moon is now as I do this reading, but because it's saying it, it may not be the near, near future, but it can definitely things be set into motion from the super moon and play out. We have the high priestess and we have Pisces and this is strong Piscean energy, also Virgo energy. So somebody has a strong intuition here when it comes to, um, I feel you and them. All right, literally could be dealing with that. Again, the moon is emphasized. The moon could be, the Pisces is highly involved in a lot of things that are going on, even though it's an Aquarian supermoon. The transits, if you look at what's going on, I think uh, Neptune is in Pisces retrograde. So there, it, it's, it's a cause for reflection on somebody's part. Somebody is really reflecting, maybe holding back, trying to think. Tell me about determination. Um, this is that Knight of Swords where it happens super fast, but it could be somebody is trying to figure something out here. And it's the Magician, again, in reverse. 
somebody could be holding back because literally maybe they follow astrology and they're like no i don't want to do this during mercury retrograde but somebody could just literally not be in the right mindset and it could be a virgo gemini or something like this because i have strong virgo i have strong gemini i have strong pisces tell me about the wisdom keeper that card fell let me see and another one fell important I pick it up the way all right seven of cups reverse and then this one fell oh is the one that was already here dream reaver okay yeah and on the bottom all right four of pentacles you could be holding back from someone. Someone could be holding back from you because this is the recent past. This is someone using their wisdom. But again, we have this full moon that's heightened here. Things could have been building up, okay, up to the full moon as well. And someone might be, um, and again, the, the moon again. There's a lot of emphasis on this moon. And I do feel that somebody is... In the recent past, meaning building up to the moon here, this full moon that we're having when it comes to making the right choices, all right? And these right choices are going to pay off, but for whoever needs to learn from choices, um, from making mistakes or repeating things, that's where a tower might represent itself and things are going to speed up. It's almost like a push, an ascension push is what I feel for somebody and it aligns you and another person a soul a flame it, it, it unites tell me about the imagination ten of pentacles and the reverse and it landed on the masculine it landed on the emperor I feel like um, somebody is in their feelings either they feel they've done you wrong or they knew that you were the long-term choice and they made a mistake and that divine masculine can be a divine counterpart it can be a person in the yang energy um it could be a person you worked with a boss all right Now, ultimately, because I have the Hierophant, I have the three, the cooperation, the Ten of Pentacles reverse, and the imagination. If you were planning on doing something, okay, and you needed government funds, um, and you get some news that it, you know, and you get some news about that, that maybe you're not going to get as much help, um, you don't qualify for something or not for a full amount like even school that like you not we, we we can only pay this amount you're going to have to come up with the rest um something like this and somebody might be like well i don't have it all right ultimately something will work out i don't know what okay ultimately it's saying hang in there something will work out um if anyone's trying to get some sort of money or grant you know they're private investors okay or if you're trying to get money for your business they are private investors just waiting to lend okay that's specific that's specific that's not what this entire reading is about there's help though there's help if that's what you're trying to do um but i see a queen and a king of cups so for most of you this is love and this is somebody who wants to i feel connect all right someone who's been holding back their feelings and their emotions somebody knows that um they had to learn a valuable lesson because they went down the wrong path they made the wrong choice here in the past so somebody realizes they gave up whatever this is okay this is everything this is the house the family the dogs it's a happy life and it's a lot of abundance so somebody is looking at this that they sort of gave that up and maybe they want to come back and it's not uncommon because i do see two uh mercury cards in the reverse which can talk about retrograde tell me about the near future which is the magician reverse like i said it's here twice so it's not going to come out again five of pentacles reverse so literally there's another coming a second coming somebody wants to come back around return of something another chance possibly 
with a Virgo, Gemini, or someone comes back during Mercury retrograde is a perfect way to say this. Ultimately, somebody can't get you out of their mind. Really. And it looks like it could be, you know, if somebody cannot get you off their mind, it looks like it could be somebody who is in an emperor status, in a king of pentacles status. This is a person who has a lot of abundance. This is a person who has a lot to offer. And this is a person who could help you out. Tell me about the dream weaver. Scorpio, water, cancer, Pisces, energy, two of pentacles. And it landed on this. This is a person deep in thought. And I'm telling you, this person's biggest problem is fear of change. Whoever this person is, their biggest problem is fear of change. But as soon as they figure it out, because this is, I feel, this is a good manifester. Let's not forget, this is a person who has a lot of feeling, a lot of soul, I just heard. And then this is a person who has abundance or the ability to create a lot of abundance. But this is the thing, they're not sure. There's something that they're not sure they're trying to figure out about themselves. You know, maybe this person, if this is like love, maybe someone fell in love and got caught off guard with that. Um, if this has to do with an older soul, a younger soul, all right, maybe there's that novice spirit that you have the wisdom and this person is is trying to use wisdom and, and, and intuition to make a decision. But either way, once this person figures it out, the two of pentacles, this landed on determination. That means this is going to go from not making a move to moving really fast. Okay, really fast. And this moon may kick someone's butt just enough to put them into gear. Okay. Again, the Knight of Swords is reverse and the moon is reverse. Someone's going through the emotions right now about a Ten of Cups. Someone, I, I'm telling you, I would not be surprised if somebody was not crying somewhere really trying to determine what is important to them okay and it looks like someone is looking at family here and someone is looking like they let go of it so whether you're this you're someone you could have literally been family with or someone who wanted to come and join you be family with you or work family this is someone who's very emotional right now during this full moon and i'm telling you once they they there's going to be fast movement right now. That's the only thing holding this person back. So at some point, this person has to determine, do I stay where I'm at? Do I move forward? We have here um, res resistance. All right. This is afraid of change right here. It's a nine of wands. And that just fell on the floor. And the tower. That's the person going through a tower. A literal emotional tower, two of cups over you and them. This moon is affecting everyone, and believe me when I say everyone, and this moon is affecting somebody who wants to come toward you. They're just afraid of change. But the tower looks like it's on their part, but it's going to ultimately work out with the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Nine of Cups. Somebody's wish here works out. But it does with the Eight of Cups reverse look like somebody's returning and they're returning to be, have victory. And I'm telling you, it's love. And this is someone's returning to have a victory with you. Afraid of change. Literally, change card reverse, but it's the Wheel of Fortune. This person has went through something, obviously, emotionally, or they could have had a, a something tragic in their life. I don't know. Tell me about this. This is hitting everyone. We have temperance reverse and judgment reverse. I'm telling you, I would not. This is karma. This does talk about karma. Someone has gone through something very difficult. And it could be, like I said, emotional. It could be something literally impacted their life. But they're ultimately, this change is affecting this person. Whether it's change of coming toward you or something all of a sudden happened instantly in their life and they don't know who else to call on like i said roles can be reversed this can be aquarius but i'm just seeing um i'm just seeing a lot of other energy i'm not even really seeing actual aquarius 
tell me about the outcome. There's a lot here. The Queen of Cups reverse, you know. Did I, lo did I lose the person who loves me? Um, but this is coming together. And it could be in a work setting, okay? Or did I lose the person who was best for me? Um, like I said, this can be in a, in a coming together, all right? If it's money, it's coming together. If it's school, it's coming together. It's cooperation. It's cooperation. For most of you, it looks like it's um, whatever's been on your mind, okay? But it does look like someone is thinking about you. I really feel that there's someone really thinking about you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Chariot reverse. Someone is too emotional right now, and they're just not coming forward to the other person. They're too emotional, and I don't know why. Hopefully nobody's lost anybody, okay? Hopefully that's not the case. Nobody's lost anybody, but it's whatever. Loss is a loss, um, but someone is very emotional, okay? Hopefully nobody's in any car accidents either. I hope everyone is safe driving, and everyone that you know, I hope is safe as well, because that's a car and over-emotional here. There's a lot of energy going on right now, and it's going to create a lot of burden for somebody. But because somebody is in a lot of burden, they're going to straighten up and be consistent, okay? And it looks like try to join forces here with you. Tell me about the card of generosity. Queen of Swords. That's uh, now first air energy that I see. Um... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it's also very sharp thinking. Um, it's a professional. Four of Swords reverse. Now the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is in the upright. And the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody's not able to focus here. Or somebody's not able to get some work done because they're very emotional. All right. I see that you're fine. I do see that this person gets their emotions together enough to communicate with you. And this could have to do with work. Not going to lie. It could have to do with um, work or um, moving into a new community, if any of you are moving, because of the Ten of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, um, the Emperor, someone in charge makes it happen, especially if there was a problem with that before, not enough money or something. Even a father could lend out some money. Tell me about the emperor. A father figure, anyway. Six of Pentacles, reverse. Again, the Six of Pentacles here, reverse. If you don't have enough money for something... There is somebody who does. Or if you've went to people and you've gotten turned down or not enough money. Somebody has enough money for something. And it could be, like I said, it can be vice versa. Tell me about the emperor. Somebody's more than happy to help somebody. Yeah, we have justice. It could be even, you might even, somebody might be coming forward, all right, to offer you a new contract, especially if you are um, um, the kind of person who is an independent contractor, okay? You get paid by your job or your skill. Someone could be coming forward. You might have a new contract here. So keep that in mind. It's a wish come true right here, literally. So if you were looking for a new contract, new work, um, if you were looking for it's positive. It does. There is somebody who's sad, though. So let's not get that twisted. There's somebody who's very sad. Something happens in their life, some sort of crisis, whether emotional or something literally happens in their life and they need or call upon your help. But this is a person who is probably very uh, stable and able to 
um, make change. And this is a person who would be consistent, who wasn't consistent. This is a person returning, returning stable, all right? Returning um, for the long haul here. So it's, a, it's an offer that lasts. Tell me about cooperation, working together. So it might require you and more than just you as far as coming together. Eight of Cups reverse. Look, all I can tell you is there's a return, all right? There's a return. And it might help you out greatly, okay? This might be something you wanted. It could be a dream job. It could be um, money that you were looking for something because you wanted to learn, study, move, do something. It can be help from somebody like that if you didn't have enough. This moon is activating it. All I can tell you is this super moon is activating this new path. It's going to lead to a lot of happiness. This person can be anybody from a divine masculine yang energy to um, a father figure to the government, um, grants, uh, legal stuff. But for love, it looks like somebody has been afraid to come forward. Even um, just whoever this person could be. We got, it's time to play. You're working too hard on worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. Anyway, guys, I've made this reading long enough. I love you all and namaste, my friends.